literally the best deep wave wig I've ever, ever got my hands on. We're not even gonna get into the lace. <laughs> Hey guys, it's your girl Barbie K back with another video and today I'm going to be showing y'all the deets to this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful deep wave hair from Ali Pearl. Shout out to them for sending me over this wig. Look at that texture y'all. Mm. So here's everything they sent me. They sent me a wig band, a wig cap, a silk wrap, edge brush, and some lashes to complete the look. And here's a first look at the texture straight out the box and the lace. Oh my god y'all. That texture is texturing. So jumping right into the install, we're gonna use some got to be spray, and then we're gonna hot comb all the hairs back so that when we bleach the knots, no flyaway hairs get processed on accident. This step is very, very, very important, especially as a beginner, you might accidentally dye some of the hair. So for bleach, I like to use the L'Oreal True Blue, and I prefer this over BW2 because BW2 the knots end up so brassy and I also use 30 volume developer so now I'm gonna just pour that in little by little until I get a nice toothpaste consistency When I go ahead and start bleaching the knots, I like to start from the back and go in rows towards the front so that the front does not end up over processed because the front of the hairline, the knots were so small, you guys. So I wanted to do that last so that I don't end up over bleaching. So now I'm going to head over to my hair sink and as you can see the knots are definitely bleached and I'm using a faucet with high pressure so that no bleach gets trapped in between the lace and the hair because that can definitely happen. And once I'm done rinsing out all the bleach, I'm going to go with my shimmer lights. This is the conditioner because I don't have any shampoo but I needed something to tone these knots. Toning the knots is such an important step you guys. So I'm just pouring that all over the lace. And I'm going to work it in really good, make sure all the knots are nice and coated. And then I'm going to let that sit for about 30 minutes, you guys. You see how brassy and orange the lace pulled? You want to get rid of all that and tone it down. So after about a half hour, I came back in and I'm just going to rinse out all of the shimmer lights. And as you can see, the lace definitely toned down a lot. Now I'm just taking some shampoo, getting all that product off the lace. And then I'm going to go ahead and shampoo and condition my unit. So for the plucking process, I like to use a braiding comb and you're going to need a hot comb and tweezers with a slanted tip. I'm just starting off by detangling all the hair and then I'm sectioning out the edges so that we don't over pluck. And then I'm going to go with my hot comb to make sure everything is pulled back and I can see exactly what I'm working with. And I'm just going to jump right in with my Santa tweezers. You want to use a light pressure, especially with hair with really good lace and thin knots like this unit. You don't want to put a hole in the lace and it's so easy to do that. So light pressure and then I'm going to go ahead and hot comb. I'm going to take out a new section. I'm going to repeat this process about three, four rows back until I feel like the lace is plucked beautifully. I wanna be 
So for my bald cap, normally I would pull the bald cap more down in front of my face, but I had lashes on so I wasn't able to do that. But pulling it down here is still okay. So I'm just starting off by cutting out my ear tabs. And then I'm going to go in with my Bold Hold Active, my favorite glue of all time. And I'm going to apply that on my hairline. You don't need a lot for this step. I see a lot of girls using a hard amount of glue. You really don't, especially since you're about to put more glue on your face for the install. You don't need a lot at all. And then I'm going to go with my Got To Be Spray and place it behind the glue. Do not put it in front of the glue or that defeats the whole purpose of using glue, okay? So make sure you put it behind the glue and I'm rubbing it in with my finger to make sure that it's not going above the glue. I'm gonna go ahead and dry this hard for about 20-25 minutes. So to tip my lace, I like to use the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. I'm in the color Cappuccino. And I know a lot of the lace warriors is gonna kill me for this one. A lot of y'all are on me because it's bad, but this pigment is so bomb. And this foundation is actually oil-free, so it's not going to interfere with your lace or how your lace is going to lay because there's no oil in this makeup. So I'm just going to go ahead and take a stippling foundation brush and rub that all into my cap. I like to put it in really good, saturate my cap, and then I'm going to go ahead and use some God's to just seal that. My hot comb, getting all those flyaways pushed back. And then I'm going to go in with the same foundation, same brush, and tint the lace itself. Now that my cap is dry, I'm going to go ahead and take some shears and cut my cap off. If you're not used to using shears, I wouldn't recommend because they are very, very sharp. But I know how to work some shears. So we're just going to cut all that off and as you can see i'm pulling a little more applying some pressure to make sure i get all those little pieces down and then i'm going to tie the back i used to sew the back but tying it is just a little more convenient for me and then i'm taking some alcohol pads and i'm just going to go ahead and clean up all that got to be all that makeup any oil debris anything on my face or ears that will interfere with my install. And then I'm just gonna cut some slits right above my ear to relieve a little bit of the pressure from the bald cap. And now we're just trying on our wig, seeing how it fits. My head is a little big, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, so <laughs> I had to pull a little harder on the front, but everything worked out fine. So I'm just going back in, making sure there's absolutely no flyaways because you don't want any ear getting trapped under the glue. And then I'm just cutting out my ear tabs. So hopping right into the install, we're going back in with that same Bold Hold Active. And I like to apply my glue in three sections and I smooth it out with a rat tail comb. I prefer a rat tail comb over a popsicle stick because it just helps it lay a little flatter and you wanna get the glue to lay as flat as possible, y'all. It should turn clear almost instantly if you smooth it down properly, so. Going in, smoothing all that glue down. And I used three layers for this install, but honestly, in this Florida heat, I would recommend four to five. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. Your girl was getting excited at this point. <laughs> so now we're gonna pull that lace down. You always wanna make sure the lace is above the glue. If you pull your lace, behind the glue and melt it your install is basically ruined okay so put it above the glue at all costs you can always go back in and add glue but if you put the lace behind the glue you gotta just start over basically so i'm looking at my mirror real close making sure that everything is above the glue as you can see here i'm going back in pulling it down just to be extra sure making sure those ears are laid and I'm gonna apply some pressure and just getting those flyaways down again and I'm taking some got to be 
I'm spraying it on my finger and then I'm using my finger to transfer it to the lace. I don't like spraying it straight to the lace because it's a wet product at the end of the day. So I feel like too much will ruin the install. Now I'm taking this band that Ali Pro sent me, which was actually a really, really good band. And yeah. <laughs> Y'all, I can already tell this hair is about to give. <laughs> now I'm going to go ahead and blow dry this for about 30 minutes on medium heat. And as I'm blow drying it, I'm pressing my fingers in to make sure it's really melting. Boom. Scalpiana, get into it, y'all. Look at that. So I'm cutting three sections. And then I'm gonna go in with some razors and I like to hold it flat down so that I don't cut my skin. And I'm gonna cut all that excess lace off. As I'm cutting off the lace, I'm like pulling on the lace going backwards because any hair that's lifting is not melted so it can be cut. The hair that's melted, trust me, it's not going nowhere, so. I like to pull it back just to make sure I'm getting all the lace off. Now I'm going in with my shears and just cleaning up any pieces of lace that can go. Be really careful at this part because like I mentioned earlier, shears are extremely sharp. So I'm just cleaning up my lace and then I'm taking an eyeshadow brush and that same foundation from earlier and I'm going to go ahead and work that into my lace. And I like to use little amounts but build slowly because I don't want to make my lace too cakey. But as you can see, it's already blending a lot better than before. And then after that, I'm going to take my even the yellow can, not the black can. The black can I feel like just gives me too much residue sometimes. But I'm doing that same technique with my finger and I'm patting it into my lace. And then I'm gonna go ahead and melt it again for another 20 minutes. Now I'm taking some alcohol on a Q-tip and I'm just taking away that extra glue residue from my forehead cause that's going to interfere with my edges when I go ahead and lay them. So I'm just getting rid of all of that. This is no filling, not even a little bit of filling, not even a little bit of filter. No filter, no no nothing, no blur, no filter, no makeup, no nothing. Do y'all see what this lace looks like? Like, Ali Pearl? Ali Pearl. Why did you have to do them like that? Why did you have to do them like that, Ali Pearl? Ali Pearl, Ali Pearl, why did you have to give it to him like that though? Why is this hair coming straight out my scalp though? Why is this hair coming straight out my scalp though? Ali Pearl, let me know. This is my scalp. And, and look, this wig, it ain't going nowhere. It ain't going nowhere. It's on my head and it's here to stay, Bookie. It's here to stay, Buki. I'm gonna have to be looking over here a little more since my setup changed. So if you see me looking over here, it's because my mirror is facing this direction. Now I'm going in and I'm going to part my hair. At first I was gonna do a middle part, but I decided to do a side part instead. So I'm just carving out my part, detangling, you know using a hot comb to lay everything flat so I could really fix my part and get it nice and straight. Now I'm using my Care Care wax stick and this is the best wax stick on the market. If you know, you know. And I'm going back in to clean up my part with the wax stick and then I'm gonna melt everything in the direction it should be. And make sure that you section out here to cover the tracks in the back. 
Cause a lot of girls don't be doing that step and they tracks be showing. Now I'm just carving out hair for my edges. And once I have the desired section, I'm going to hot comb it forward. Now I'm going in with the same tweezers from before and I'm going to just pluck a little bit out of this section because you want it to still look natural. So I'm going to go ahead and pluck a few hairs and then after I'm done doing that, I'm going to run the hot comb down one more time. And I'm taking whatever product is left over on my eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to go ahead and do that on the parts to make sure everything looks seamless. And then I'm taking some Ebon and just setting that makeup. Whenever you put makeup on, you want to set the makeup. And I'm going to just use some razors to cut a nice jagged edge and here you can see me kind of measuring how long the edges have to be beforehand and i'm taking my edge curler and we're gonna go ahead and curl the edges upwards y'all not downwards upwards <laughs> To lay my edges, I like to use the Lotta Body Mousse. I used to prefer Nairobi until I tried this. And this hold, y'all, this hold doesn't even compare to Nairobi. Nairobi has nothing on Lotta Body. I was asleep for a long time, but Lotta Body Mousse, you won't need no other product, I'm telling you. Like, do you see how effortlessly those edges are forming? Come on now. And then I'm just going to repeat the same exact thing to the opposite side. Take some got to be spray and I'm slightly patting that at the base of the edges so that they lay nice and flat. And I'm gonna let those set and we're gonna blow dry that on cool for five to ten minutes. Now we're just saturating the hair, putting in some mousse. And this is a secret for deep wave hair. That's what's gonna keep the hair shiny even after it dries. So y'all better try that out. Garnier sleek and shine. And we're just bringing out the curls right now, bringing out the texture. And that's how you lay a lace, Buki. I am not the one. Okay? Alrighty, y'all. This is the final look. I'm so happy with how this came out. Can we get into Ali Pearl's quality real quick? Like, since the second I unboxed the wig, I knew I had a unit on me. And I don't mean like any old unit. You know how these companies be sending out anything? No. This is a unit, y'all. Look at this hair. This is real, this is real deep wave. This is real deep wave. If you look at the texture for real, this is real deep wave. Look how long this hair is, y'all. This don't look like 24. This is giving 28, almost 30 inches. The texture, the lace, the length. This wig, y'all. If you don't go get this wig, you're bugging. This look at this texture. Y'all see that? Like, can we get into it? Y'all not getting into it enough, and that's what's upset me right now. Y'all have to get into this hair. Lace, it don't exist. It don't exist. I'm not copping this hair. You missing out. If you're getting your deep wave hair from anywhere else besides Ali Pearl, you missing out. I'm not clicking that link in the description below to get this hair. You missing out. But I hope you guys like the video. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. If y'all want more hair videos, let me know because um, y'all probably didn't know that I'm a beast. I'm a beast when it comes to hair. Y'all probably didn't know, but that's one of my little secret talents. So if y'all want some more hair content, let me know. I can definitely get some more out for you guys. I think that we ate the girls up today. Let me know what you think down below. I'm feeling real. Just give me an islandy. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Love you. Barbie K out.